Good morning guys, happy Sunday. I planned out really just a nice Sunday for myself. So I thought, why not vlog in? I normally don't vlog on weekends. Um, but I decided, here we are. I am wearing all skims right now. I got another one of the um, like everyday bras, I think. I have them in so many different colors. I have a skims haul to share with you guys. Not sponsored, I wish. Anyways, I just made some coffee. I have breakfast coming um, very soon. And actually, I'm so happy right now because I came home last night to a package from Loops of all these new face masks. And like, these are my favorite face masks. I always keep them in the freezer, but I this time put them in the fridge so they wouldn't get like, my freezer, like there's literally like ice on it, you know? I needed to like chill. But actually, I think I'm gonna show you guys the haul of like what I got now. Later today, I have a cooking class and I'm so excited. I love cooking classes. I'm taking some in Italy, going to a new place today. I'll take y'all along, but I'm just so excited. Like it's gonna be so much fun. I'm going there for Marissa. First thing I got is some shapewear. This is the high-waisted brief and like it looks Actually, this doesn't even look as small as a lot of them can, and I know it's crazy, but like it stretches out a ton. Um, more of, I think, like core control. I like these when um, I'm wearing dresses and things like that. Also, life hack if y'all are having really bad period cramps, wear shapewear. It helps so much with cramps. Okay, so for the Skims haul, I got these shorts that I'm already wearing. Um, I have these in white, but they're just like so comfortable to just like wear around the house, have a matching top with them. So cute, and then this tank I got, um, really soft. I like the cuts of these, easy, and I also thought they'd be good to just like throw over um, my workout stuff. I got this tank in gray as well, and then also in chocolate brown. My favorite, I love chocolate brown in heather gray. I think it's so cute. Um, I got this top, which I have in a different color. What is it called? I'll link these. It's just like a Skims t-shirt. I got it in a medium and honestly, I think I should have gone small. I think my other one is small. I have it in like a brown color. It is just like the nicest feeling t-shirt and it's very flattering. Like it's a little bit, it's tight, but it's not too tight. It almost has like a jersey feel, but it is amazing. Like absolutely incredible. Love this closet staple. Then I got another one of the bras in just this blue color. So good. Love. Next thing we have here, guys. Um, I'm so excited. Eli sent me over her PR package for her collab with Every Jewels. <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm actually going to film a little TikTok unboxing and then I'll show y'all what it is. Look at how cute. I'm so happy for her. I love Eli. I think Eli's one of the greatest people. I think she's one of the greatest content creators. I adore her. I've had her on my podcast. Like, I, I love her. Um, if you guys don't follow her, you should. But, like, I just unboxed it on TikTok. But it's so cute. There's the hot girl necklace. The cute ring that we love. The, like, engagement ring. The rules for being hot. Tote. And then also, I plan this Saturday tote. Which, I'm going to take these with me today to Trader Joe's. And I'm going to feel really good about myself. Because I'm really bad about... I bring bags and then I first keep them in my car and then it's just, I'm working on it. Um, anyways, it's like so cute. Congrats, Eli. I love this. You guys can shop this on Every Jewels. Um, I just love the not so engagement ring. I mean, genius. It really is genius. So, anyways, um, going on with my day, I need to start by doing a Loops face mask. My breakfast has just arrived. Ooh, these Loops face masks, there's nothing like them, there's nothing better. It is truly just out of this world. And here we are. Looks incredible. My eyes roll soon. I mean, feels so good. I have this playlist that I've been playing. It's like a reading one, but it's super jazz. Like, you know, Mozart might even be on there. Like, I don't know, I'm just really smart these days. So I might play that and just feel very, you know, elegant. I turned 25 a week from tomorrow. August 1st, so I need to journal today on my 24th year because I also need to record an episode tomorrow about my 24th year So I think that's what I'm gonna do this morning. My cooking class starts in two hours So I've gotta get some things gotta get some things going, but I'm feeling great for breakfast I got chop shop this sunrise wrap they have it's like a sweet potato wrap. It is so good If y'all have a chop shop near you, you need to try it. It is. Oh god. It's really hot, but it's just incredible it's, the base is sweet potatoes. You can't really see it here. It's way too hot. And then my green juice is separated. So that looks really good. Um, but I promise it is. I have my green juice. That looks a lot better now. I actually love the taste of green juice. What do y'all feel? 
I feel like it's fine. It's good. Okay, anyways, have a new journal. I am getting back into journaling because I'm starting the artist way today, but I'm starting like tomorrow, but I'm starting the first chapter today. Um, I talked about this briefly in the last vlog and then it was so weird. So basically last week when I was in LA for the week recording, three different people brought that book up to me just on separate occasions. And then when I got back, one of my favorite podcasts did an entire episode on it. And this book isn't new, it's an old book. So I was like, okay, clearly I need to do it. And I actually already like will do sometimes morning pages, which I love, which is when you just wake up and you journal for three pages. And that is a Julia Cameron thing from the artist way. But anyways, this whole thing, it's like recovering your creative self. You go back, you take yourself on like artist dates, you do morning pages every single morning for 12 weeks straight. So we'll be starting that. We'll be talking about that later. Anyways, I have my journal. I have a ton of these. They're really thin, so I go through them quickly, but they're just easy. And what I'm gonna do this morning is do my 24th year and go through my camera roll and like see what happened. Um, I might also make a TikTok about it, but I'm definitely recording an entire podcast episode. I love doing my solos, like what I've been learning and whatever. Um, but I feel like this is gonna remind me of a lot of things that happened. So then I'll have a better idea of what I really learned this year. You know what I mean? So anyways, I'm gonna do that. Um, I have John Mayer playing. My breakfast is cooling down. It's 10.49 a.m. I'm gonna have good Sundays like this soon. I'm not gonna lie, most of my Sundays are spent like in bed doing absolutely nothing, which is good, but I'm also like slightly hungover when I'm doing that. I'm like, that's not good, you know? I, I, hate, I hate being hungover. Everyone hates being hungover, but like no one hates it like I do. Like I am out for the count. Like there's nothing you can do. I, I'm not tough. I can't push through. I can't even rally. Like there's just nothing I can do about that. So anyways, gonna journal now. Happy Sunday. I just had a beautiful walk down memory lane. What a good year. Did anyone else have the best six weeks of their life? Like last fall, right around the time that Red Taylor's version got re-released, like, or got released. Those weeks, like six weeks, I don't know if anything will ever top it. Maybe my wedding. And like probably not even then. Honestly, like it was so good. So anyways, I'm gonna decide. Um, I feel like I'm wanting to make like spaghetti squash this week. I'm making my grocery list so I can go after I have my cooking class. Trader Joe's, flowers, spaghetti squash. Um, and just like deciding what I want for the week. What does one wear to a cooking class in the summer? I would love to continue to wear the outfit that I'm wearing today because like, look at this. I can't wait to get home and change into it immediately. But I think what I'm gonna do is just wear the okai pants with this top and then because like you might need long sleeves depending on the cooking class that's what i'm saying it's kind of weird in the summer but i'm thinking if i wear these pants and then i can bring this top i feel like i'll be fine you know what i mean just in case i need long sleeves so that's gonna be my look and then i'll just wear Sneakers, because you're definitely gonna need close toed shoes, and then you always have to wear your hair back. So I'm thinking this is the vibe. This is definitely the vibe for my outfit. And then I have to wear sneakers. I just got new sneakers last week. They're not here yet, but I ordered them on Goat. And like they're gonna be my most worn shoes ever, but they're not here yet. And I just have a ton of heels in here. I have a, somehow, I have, look at this, guys. This is so ridiculous. It's. Uh, too many heels already with another closet for shoes but for whatever reason I just feel like I have to have this many options and I genuinely do wear a lot of them which is even more alarming so anyways I've got to figure that out my next house I'm gonna have to have even more shoe space because there's two rows I mean really it's not I don't know I have a lot of shoes but the other closet is also stuffed that's why this is a problem so I think I'm just gonna wear like white sneakers or something also I change my bags out like literally all the time but I got this bag for Christmas and I have forgotten to wear it the entire time and it's a pillow tabby bag it was impossible to get and it's so cute and it's also great for summer it's gonna be great in the winter too when I wear like my white boots that I have it's just the best bag it's so freaking cute and I loved it but I just forgot to wear it I just changed into my um, Chanel bag little update this is what I bought for, my, for myself for my birthday and I've had it planned to buy this bag for like years I got like the darker brown color this bag is just like the most amazing bag ever and I can't wait to wear it in the fall and winter it's so good like it's just so good so i'm excited for that it was a great purchase and i can already tell that also um sniff sent me some of their perfumes and the burning bridges scent is so good like oh my god you just smell absolutely incredible and i've been loving that part of me is like can i wear these shoes I feel like that might be like too much for what i'm my vibe today i'm gonna do really light makeup 
I think what I'm gonna do is go in with the Hollywood Flawless Filter um, like foundation primer from Charlotte Tilbury. I still don't know what to call it, but just gives you a really, really minimum or minimal glow. Really no coverage, but I do think it kind of maybe blurs out your skin a little bit. Skin update, I started using apostrophe. So I take um, a pill every day and then I have like this customized night cream that I put on. So good. And then I also started using the Tower 28 SOS spray that I recently got been using both of these and like pretty much all of my breakouts are gone or going away so i don't know which one did it but maybe it's a combination of the two i just feel like my skin is clearing up and going back to normal when i've been like dealing with a lot of breakouts which like wouldn't fully go away for the past few months which has been annoying so update loving those products also going to use a little bit of my happy blush um from rare beauty best blush ever and then i blend that out with a beauty blender or actually i use the real technique sponge i prefer that one i just find that it works better it's way cheaper and i actually just like it better next i'm gonna brush out my brows which i really need to get them done i need to make an appointment this week maybe i'll go get them done tomorrow it's my least favorite thing to do getting your brows done just sucks i just put some mascara on from thrive and every time i'm like oh i'm really gonna put on any i just like, keep going so then i stop myself um, and that's gonna be it for my makeup. I've also been using this milk um, like setting spray. I love milk makeup. Now I'm going to really try to pull my hair back tighter than it was, but this is good enough. Woo! Okay, that is it for the look today. I need to figure out which shoes. Oh, I'll wear my Air Forces, duh. Okay, Air Forces it is. Here is my look for cooking class. It is a miracle that I got out of my Skims bottoms. I guess not the top. Um, the Okine pants, I have Air Forces on, bag, Skims obviously, and then also, I am gonna bring this with me because you never know if you get cold or if I actually do have to wear long sleeves. And this is nice because these are 100% cotton so you can wear them in the summer and it's not even hot. So I might be wearing the full set, I guess we'll see. Maybe it'll be cold. This is legitimately my favorite outfit to wear, like if I was a Sims character. This would be my outfit. What about y'all? That's actually a really good question. If you were a Sims character, what would your outfit be? You know? We got our Starbucks drink, so it looks so summery. Oh, it's so beautiful here. I love it. The cooking class was so much fun. I really, really would love, like honestly, this is something I really wanna do. I wish there was a cooking class, even like a healthier cooking class, an intensive like week-long course near me. My dream one day is to go to a cooking class for like, a week in Italy, but I just wish that I could go and it wasn't just like one-off. So like if you go to these places, typically you like learn a dish. 
Um, we ate, it was really good. Why <sighs> I'm like out of breath. Okay, um, but it was just so much fun and I would like to do like a long-term course, you know what I mean? Then I had 10% off, so I picked up some things. A nice little scraper, if you will. Um, a little dish thing. And then I got a lot of just little bowls for my ingredients. So they're just glass bowls. I mean, nothing too crazy. As you can see here, perfect. And like, you guys know me, I love cooking, especially in the fall. And it, you know, fall is creeping up on us. Like it's not gonna be cold in Texas until like really November, unfortunately. But you know, in the fall, I'll start like getting back to like, you know, my roots and cooking. I love a good pasta. I love a good um, soup. So anyways, I just got these bowls so I can like prep ingredients and have them all ready. It makes your life so much easier. Now it is time for a little grocery haul. I am here until Friday, so I wanted to do a lot of cooking and just get some stuff situated. I got some fresh flowers for the house because it just puts me in such a good mood. Like there's nothing that fresh flowers can't fix, you know? For groceries, I actually got quite a bit. Uh, this is the one like frozen thing I got that just saw us like turkey bolognese just to see if I liked it. Um, lots of cucumbers, salmon, cucumbers, then pineapple, ground beef, avocados. Also got some hummus, little um, organic rice cakes, which I actually like those a lot with hummus and then cucumbers sliced up and lemon. They actually taste good. A little lot cologne for today because I'm really tired. Um, glaze. Iced coffee for later, bone broth, which I love bone broth so much, and I haven't been having it, and I think, I feel like I need like protein in the morning, and I'm, I'm maybe gonna start trying some bone broth. I couldn't find any of their like zucchini noodles that they have prepped, so I just got these, and they're like vegetable pasta, like we'll see. You steam it in a bag, I don't know about this one. We'll see, couldn't find anything there. I went to the Trader Joe's I don't normally go to because it was closer, but like what an incredible Sunday afternoon, you know, like I'm feeling so great. I'll probably cook dinner later. Like, it's just so nice. What a nice little reset. So I'm gonna put all this away and finish listening to um, a podcast and then get cozy. And then maybe we'll start the artist way. I actually don't know what is next on my to-do list for my plan for the day, um, but we'll see. I put the groceries away and I changed back into my comfortable clothes. I'm going to make some bouquets, if you will. I have some coffee going. Um, I've cleaned some stuff up and I'm actually gonna start. I This remote broke, so I'm starting on my laptop, the Pray and Obey documentary. I've been hearing a lot about it. So, we're gonna watch this as I, you know, I'm a florist. I have just been on my laptop making plans for the week, getting some work done, um, booking more cooking classes because it's something that I love and I think I'm gonna go with my like cousin and sister and mom on my actual birthday. Book update time. I read Carrie Soto's back. Um, I haven't really copied. I think I've already talked about this in a vlog at the end of one. Loved it, really good. It comes out I think August 30th, so definitely pre-order that and get that. Um, it's a Taylor Jenkins read book, love. I downloaded Life Will Be the Death of Me by Chelsea Handler. I love Chelsea Handler. Like I cannot believe I've never been to one of her stand-up comedy acts, stand-up shows, her shows before ever, because I love her. I listen to like every podcast she has, she puts out. She's on, like I'm obsessed with her. Then I downloaded Things We Do in the Dark by Jennifer Hillier, who's my favorite thriller author. And then I read, before that actually, I read, what is the book called? It's in the A Sinner and Saint novel series by Lucy Score, and I loved Things We Never Got Over. But A Sinner and a Saint novel, I like genuinely is probably like one of the worst books I've read. And it was so cheesy, but it ended on such a cliffhanger 
But like, I'm for whatever reason reading the second one because I need to know what happens. And like, I do kind of like them, but I would never recommend the book. Like, I don't think it's good. And when I was reading it, I was like, this is so cringy. And listen, I can get behind a good cringy book. Like, I really can. I love, I, I, I read a lot of like YA, whatever. Um, and that one was just like tough. But with that being said, I'm reading book number two, but I would write it like those like a 2.7, three star kind of thing. So I plan on reading Things We Do in the Dark and then Chelsea Handler's book. I also downloaded a sample of The It Girl by Ruth Ware, if anyone's ever read that. Um, but yeah, we'll see what happens. And then this afternoon, I'm starting, or tonight, early evening, I'm starting The Artist's Way. I'm going to read chapter one. Every Sunday, I'm going to read a chapter, and then I'm going to go through the challenge for the week. So basically, with The Artist's Way, it's like a 12-week program where every morning you wake up and you do morning pages. So you write for three pages, and then once a week, you take yourself on an artist date, and then you read this book along with it. And it kind of like helps you get back to like your creative self, if you will. So I'm really excited. I've been recommended that by so many people and I'm such a morning pages girl. So like I gotta do it, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna read this um, and then I'm gonna make some dinner and then I'm gonna shower, get in pajamas literally at like seven and read for the rest of the night and go to bed. If I could wake up or no, if I could go to bed at 8 p.m. every single night and read, I would. Just read chapter one, and I think for my artist date this week, um, I'm going to maybe take myself to Leela's and do like the questions and stuff from the journaling. Start morning pages in the morning. I'm really excited. This obviously isn't going to fit. It might fit like a week. We'll see. Um, I did get more journals, so I'll just kind of run through them and see. It's just really easy to keep these in like a purse or something. Another comfort podcast that I've been listening to like at home at night is a celebrity memoir book club. I don't know how I found this. I think maybe someone recommended it to me. They read a celebrity um, memoir, obviously, every single week, and then they go through it. I don't even really read these books. I just listen to it. It's really good. I like a good like pop culture or like random podcast, not about personal development or anything like that um, at night because it just is like, very soothing, you know? Not a lot of childhood such nice things. I'll tell them with sympathy. Made some dinner. Um, I don't think I'll probably be able to eat all of this, but it looks so good. Who knows? We'll see how I'm feeling. Gonna eat this, listen to my podcast, relax, and take a nice bath. Oh my god, I'm excited. Alright, guys, I'm also now listening to what is it? Something was wrong podcast. I haven't listened to this in forever. It's such a good listen. I've now showered. I'm in my Skims pajamas, my favorite ones. I'll link them below. They're so good. This mask or lip mask is from Babe Glow. And I keep them on my bag because I wear it at night. It's incredible. So I'm just going to read and chill in bed for the next few hours. Go to bed early tonight because I have to wake up early for a workout and I've got a big week ahead. So hope you guys enjoyed this Sunday vlog. I love you guys so much. And I will see you guys in the next vlog. And I've been like, oh, I think that like, I maybe I'm lactose intolerant. I don't know. Like I kind of made that up. I don't know. It's sometimes <laughs> in my stomach would hurt after like dairy. So I'm like, oh yeah, don't, I don't, I'm not gonna eat dairy anymore. And so I've been drinking almond milk. I did a food sensitivity test and it was like, your number one sensitivity is almonds. And I was like, amazing. <laughs> so I've been, you know, kind of counterintuitive. 